into Wednesday and Thursday. And once that humidity drops in the second half of the week, that's the way we stay through next weekend. So really don't have an issue with the mugginess as we go forward, just except for those couple days. Really, it's about 36 hours early next week. So when the humidity drops, well, you just sort of <laughs> stretch out and enjoy it, which is what Coco's doing here on Storm Pins. Uh, just one of the shots we got of uh, the four legged critters enjoying the very nice change in the atmosphere this afternoon and evening. 71 right now. The winds have calmed down since earlier today when we had those gusty conditions just at eight miles an hour. And of course, the humidity is going to continue to be no issue. This is the flip side of having so much dry air is we're getting to the point in the year where we could actually use some rain, which April and May, that was the furthest thing from our mind. Remember, April was third wettest on record in Detroit, May still a quarter inch above average, and then we couldn't even get to normal for June, July. And we're about a half inch below here in August, so we really could use every drop of rain we could get. And I know folks on the east side who have got the lakes and the rivers uh, really up into their backyard are saying no, no, no. Uh, but uh, those are two different issues and there's a lot of land that really could use some uh, a drink of water here across southern portions of Michigan. High pressure and control for the rest of the weekend. That warm front that comes in on Sunday right now, we've got it marked as dry, so I don't think we'll see any precipitation at least in the setup right now, but those things are pretty sneaky, so we got to keep an eye on it as we get into the second part of the weekend. Lows tonight, 50s pretty much everywhere. If we do see a 60, it's likely going to be in the city, but remember, this is with low humidity, so this is going to be very comfortable night starting out tomorrow morning with those low to mid 50s pretty much everywhere across the area. And there's not going to be much change in temperature as we go forward until we get to Sunday when that warm front starts moving in. So high temperatures tomorrow, just above 80 degrees, sunshine start to finish. It is really going to be a fantastic stretch. Even if you don't have a three day weekend, maybe you want to make it one <laughs> when you see that. Then we'll write you a note. That's right. Yep. All right.